The issues of immigration and crime remain at the forefront of Americans' minds. But the Biden administration is now promoting someone who once compared cops to slave patrols, who called for ICE to be completely abolished. Aisha Hasni is live at the White House with more on this latest controversy. Aisha. Emily, good afternoon to you. Well, the White House so far is standing by their man, Cherry, Tyler Cherry, who now is trying to clean all of this up really by himself. So we'll get to that in just a second. But let's take a walk down memory lane and take a look at some of those controversial posts that are just out there now for the whole world to see and for him to try to explain away. So in one of those posts, like you mentioned, he compares the police today and says that they are a direct evolution of slave patrols and lynch mobs. That's very aggressive. Also this, he wrote, cheering in bars to ending the occupation of Palestine, no shame and F your glares. Hashtag I support Gaza, hashtag free Palestine. Those are just some of those tweets. He's now coming out on Twitter on X and posting this past social media posts from when I was younger do not reflect my current views, period. I support this administration's agenda and will continue my communications work focused on our climate and environmental policies. Now, Republicans say that his promotion is really all about the polls. This is because this president has some 25 year old boy, I would call him, with a man bun that is advising him that has his ear because they realize they have lost every demographic or they're losing. They don't have that hard left at the polls and they are very frustrated now because of his Middle Eastern policies um, with Gaza and all that. He knows he can't, he, 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 he's dead, they're dead in the water all the way down the ballot. Now, Emily, this isn't the first controver controversial promotion for the Biden administration. Remember Sam Britton, right? About a year ago, the former senior Department of Energy official stepped down after being charged with stealing luggage on taxpayer funded travel. Now, the White House says about Cherry that they are proud of him as they try to pivot the headlines to abortion today. And we have asked for more on Cherry from the White House waiting to get it. Emily. Aisha, thank you. Kaylee, how is this person appropriate to fulfill an associate communications director position in our administration that governs this country? You raise the key question. Not only that, he is going to be, I, I guess, the communications person responsible for climate and environmental policy. I don't know why you have a whole staffer just for that. That's besides the point. But to promote someone like this, and then the headlines of those who choose to cover it, because a lot of people are ignoring it, the headlines read something like White House promotes official who compared police to slave patrol. OK, if this were a Republican administration, Republican staffer who got promoted in a Trump White House, there would be thousands of questions in the briefing on everything that this guy ever tweeted as he gets taxpayer dollars. I wonder if there will be a single question today. There may be one from one outlet. There should be a lot of questions. And Harris, the point is as well, everything Kaylee said, and that this administration governs everyone. So it's difficult to imagine why someone is qualified to help govern and lead and communicate with everyone when, for example, he tweets praying for Baltimore, but praying even harder for an end to a capitalistic police state motivated by racial biases, among other things. Look, they're desperate. They, they need the young vote. And we saw that with the far left squad member Jamal Bowman as well over the weekend with his, you know, F-bomb laced comments mm. and bringing the notorious AOC and taking her scunchie out and turning it into a party in the Bronx. Trump got a lot of support in the South Bronx and he didn't have to do all that. Uh, they could work it such that they go out to events. They, they could do what you've suggested, Kaylee, that the Trump administration or the Trump campaign did years ago. You register as many people as you can on site. You talk with young people. You hit them at the issues they want. But that's not what they're doing. They're, they're flexing. They can put this guy's picture up. He's, you know, he'll influence people into voting. I don't know if that's going to work. First of all, they're disrespecting the voters if they think that they can simply throw candy at them and that they're not smart enough to know the difference between somebody who can actually talk about policy and lead versus somebody who can just flex with the photos. And perhaps, Griff, maybe the real question is, not necessarily why they find him qualified, but why wouldn't they? If the president himself has actually subscribed to these kinds of things, we all remember when someone in the crowd yelled abolish ICE to the president and he said, give me a couple days, man. So perhaps this person who has called for the abolition of ICE, among other things, 
maybe they actually are in lockstep with this administration's policies. Yeah, you're spot on, Emily, because, look, he's now trying to clean it up, Cherry, with his latest uh, statement. But at the end of the day, these weren't offensive outliers. This was clear, poor judgment. And when you talk about abolishing ICE, let me tell you something. If we abolish ICE, the next 9-11 happens tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And that's not me. The former deputy CIA director, Mike Morell, over the weekend was saying it. A DHS inspector general report says that our greatest threat is that border. And so it's poor judgment. The war on cops, every city in this country, even the bluest of the blue, know that the war on cops has increased crime. So I think you really have to look about whether he's qualified based on his judgment uh, just a few years ago. Yeah, the, another thing about this is that this is an example of what you say on social media lives forever. And I have what's called a grandma rule. If you wouldn't say it to your grandma, don't post it on social media. And in this case, man, he is now trying to backtrack in a way that few people believe. And also Andrew Bates is being asked questions about you. So really bad first day for him on the job. Associate Communications Director at the White House um, is a, apparently a fairly junior level staffer position, but he is still on the communications team. And his communication is the issue. So that's a problem. Yeah. Also, this does remind me of that op-ed that Mark Penn, former Clinton advisor, wrote saying that one of Biden's big issues is that he is trying to appeal to the base and not the middle. And although I'm sure it's not his job to give this guy a promotion, promoting him and this news story certainly does not help him with trying to appeal to the middle as well. Right. He is a presidential candidate right now. And I'm surprised by decisions like this. Even if he wasn't running for president, the whole point is it's... It raises a lot of questions about someone's judgment, mm -hmm. commander-in-chiefs, in addition to Mr. Cherry's.